Welcome to Bells and Peppers. Welcome to Bells and Peppers. Hot sauce makes your food taste better. Hot sauce every kind of weather. Hi folks, welcome to Bells and Peppers, our hot sauce tasting channel. Um, this was, the, I know we posted some vlogs so far, but really the original intention of the Bells and Peppers Network was for us to test um, hot sauces together as a family. And this um, originates from this tradition we have in our family that whenever we go to Firehouse Subs, they get me a lots of different varieties of hot sauce to try. And that comes from the fact that the first time we ever went to Firehouse, um, I didn't understand the numbering system. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I slathered my um, steak and cheese sub with number 11 hot sauce. And I was physically ill. So today, and in every video, we're going to try out three different hot sauces. And today our hot sauces are, because it's our first episode. Oh, Sarah, go ahead. Um, I feel like we should do this one every time. It's just like, you know how Tabasco tastes. It's like the classic hot sauce. So I feel like we should do this as like a getting ready for everything else for every episode. So this one's just... Okay, that's an idea. Um, tell you what. Tell us what you think in the comments. If you think we should try Tabasco sauce as our base sauce every time, please let us know. So, as we said, our first hot sauce today is going to be one of the standards, Tabasco sauce. Then we're going to move on to a selection we made over the weekend from Mask General Store, Screaming Hornets Hot Sauce. And I'll make sure there's a better picture of the label cut in here. And lastly, another one we picked up this past weekend that we're, I'm, I'm personally really excited about, the Dee Dee's Golden Rule. And this is um, from Meet Your Cremator, a local hot sauce company, award-winning hot sauce company. I'm really excited. We opened the hot sauces now, and now we're going to try... Tabasco sauce as a base. Right, and this is the classic Tabasco sauce. The, you know, you see it everywhere, restaurants, other place. And of course, we're trying these today on Firehouse Subs Cheese and Steak um, Sub. Now, we are not sponsored by Firehouse Subs. We just, you know, because it is a family tradition, we're using Firehouse Subs. However, you know, Firehouse, if you want to sponsor us, let me know. All right, so we're gonna put, go ahead and put the on that one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and put on mine, and we'll all try it together. I'm gonna put a little bit on yours because you're a little. I like the little hot sauce. Okay. <laughs> three, two. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, sorry. Three, two, one. So the Tabasco was interesting. What do you think, Lilith? Pretty tame. Yeah, pretty tame. Not that high on the heat scale. The flavor more vinegary than anything, I'd say. Just vinegar, pepper, and salt. Vinegar. So. Not that complex of a flavor. What do you think, Gorlai? Couldn't taste it. You couldn't taste it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's 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 a standard. It's a safe hot sauce. It's a safe bet if you're at a restaurant somewhere. It's not a bad hot sauce, but it is a safer bet. I want more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this one. Yeah. So, so our next hot sauce is from Mass General Store. It is, um, which is a. It smells very tomato. Very tomatoey. Okay, kind of ketchupy. No, not ketchupy. Just tomato. You smell it, like tomato and vinegar. Okay. Let's see what their where their ingredients are. Mm. Or like if you. Tabasco peppers, habanero peppers, vinegar, lemon juice, green chili peppers, 
black pepper, salt, and xanthan gum. Okay. So, no tomato. I don't know what I'm getting that from. Okay. Maybe that's the... Maybe, um, maybe it's just the vinegar. I don't know. Maybe it's the chilies? I don't know. Let's... Um, so, yeah, this is from Masternal Store. It's a, a local chain of kind of like old-timey general store type places. They have lots of different stuff there. Uh, this is one of them. So let's try this all out. That one? Okay. Can't even... Stop. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Soups! He's trying to kill me. <laughs> I put a little bit more than I did on hers. Give me yours. <laughs> okay. This is actually a larger mouth, just like packaging. This is a larger mouth bottle. So, you know, you're going to get a little bit more on there. And I'm wondering if that's going to be like an indicator of like, it's not that spicy. So, Screaming Hornets Hot Sauce, Master Drill Store, three, two, one. That's really good. That's a good hot sauce, yeah. It's also not very hot. No, it's not, it's not very hot on the hot scale. But it's really good. It, I like the flavors. They come out very nicely with this. Yeah, and I, I can really taste that, like, lemon juice in there. It's kind of that, the, the lemony zing at the end, which is, it's nice. That is a nice hot sauce. Again, it's not your Daredevil hot sauces where you're like, oh my god, please, I'm dying. But very flavorful. It's nice in that way. I can definitely see this as being like just a casual sauce. Yeah. And as you can see, Lorelai has no problem with it. <laughs> what do you think, Lorelai? Let's let her finish to it. I think she was hungry. <laughs> it's kind of. It's still burning my lip. I'm still burning my lip. I'm sorry. Okay. But it's what a about, good exfoliator. What about, what about flavor, though? Tomato soup. See, you're, she's getting the tomatoes too. I don't know where I'm getting the tomatoes. I don't know where we're getting the tomatoes. Taste, there's no tomato in here, but we're definitely getting a tomato taste from this. It's it's good though. Tomato okay. soupy and a bit sour. All right. I bet it would be good on pizza. You're, I bet it would actually. Yeah. Yeah. Why would be good on pizza? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and our last one is going to be the. Um, Dee's Golden Rules by uh, Meet Your Cremator. I'm terrified. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the, um, this is definitely going to be hotter, I'm guessing, based on their website. Unfortunately, we don't have Scoville um, ratings for any of these. As long as um, we have a Scoville rating for us, Tabasco, which is, what'd you find on that? It was 1,500 to 2,000. Yeah. Whoa! That's actually, like, really, really low on the scale. Honey. Yeah, that's true. That's really low. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to find Scofield ratings for... Either of those. No, either of these. But I will tell you that the DD's Golden Rules is the second hottest on their website, um, just beaten by DD's Original. So, we're really, we're kind of scared, but kind of excited at the same time. It'll be really, it'll be really interesting. I'm prepared to say RIP to my taste buds. <laughs> All right. Ah, see, smaller aperture. So, definitely don't want to put a lot of shakes with this on there. Do a little bit more. Jeez. Okay, you do it. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> don't I was gonna put me. more on there, but like, I'm I'm not trying to die today. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. And the Lorelai. No, two. That's fine. Okay, two, two side fur. You think? Okay. That's fine. All right. She had a good four. <laughs> he had a lot. She was just two. <laughs> so, Dee Dee's Golden Rules. Let's try it out. One, five, three, two, one. Keep it a little long. <laughs> two. Really, all I'm getting is the very peachy flavors. Um, I definitely think that on food, this is not as bad 
as just that tiny, tiny little slice of cheese on the head. Let me try something real quick. Are you listening? Okay, I'm definitely getting spiced out. <laughs> it was insane. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So, I have to say, of the ones we've tried so far, I think the flavors are best on the meat your cremator sauce. Oh, definitely. Yeah. The spice doesn't come through. <clears throat> Excuse me. <It> says the <laughs> man who just tried it straight. But the um, the spices don't come through as much on the cheesesteak, but the flavors come through. So the the flavors are very nice on this. The heat level. Maybe not as much as this one. I think this one, I think you felt the heat a little bit more on this one. Which one? The mm. Screaming Hornets. I didn't really feel the heat on any of them. Okay. If I'm really going to be honest with you. Okay. So on a scale of th um, one to five peppers, what would you rate the Tabasco sauce? One. <laughs> one? One pepper? What do you think, Lorelai? Like? 851 peppers are so good. You liked it? Okay. The, the, the seven-year-old likes the Tabasco sauce. What about Screaming Hornets? Oh, and I would give it like, I, I think like a two, two out of five. Really? Uh, it, 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 it's a good sauce. You know, if you it's need like... It's a good sauce, but it's not very hot. We're rating this on hot, not No, good. just general preference. General preference? I mean, it's still a good one for me. Yeah. I'm a Cholula girl. I mean, if you're just looking for something like the Spice Up Dull Gumbo or something... And this one I rate Cholula. 18 peppers Cholula. and... What are you talking about? 80... <laughs> 80 peppers. 80 peppers? On a scale of 1 to 5, though. No? Alright. I think this one, this one's a solid 3, 4. I was going to say 3 for both the Hornet and for Columbus. Okay. I, I would actually say... This is how much milk we drink today. That's all milk. Alright. I would actually say 3 out of 5 peppers for the Screaming Hornet. And I would actually give the Didi's Golden Rule four out of five peppers. I again, I really like the flavors on that one. I don't think we've hit that perfect golden hot sauce yet, but it's good. It it it's nice. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us on uh, Bells and Peppers, and. If you have any comments, please feel free to add them below. Subscribe to him. Subscribe? All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining us on our first episode of Bells and Peppers. We hope you will like and subscribe. Uh, please make sure to also leave a comment below. If you have a hot sauce that you want us to try on, on the show, please leave the name in the comments or you can contact me about sending it to us. That's great, too. But thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Speaking of bells, make sure to ring the bell for notifications. That way, YouTube will let you know every time we post a video. Hot sauce makes your food taste better. Hot sauce for every kind of weather. Hot sauce for you and me. Pass me that hot sauce, please. Hot sauce for my brunch. Hot sauce for my dinner. Hot sauce spicy in your mouth. It's even spicy when it's on the way out. So I just, I guess I need to just put a lot of drops on with whatever we're doing and just not be afraid of it. Yeah, don't be afraid of the hot sauce. Are don't you afraid? Don't be afraid of the hot sauce. Are you still afraid of hot sauces? No. no.